Hey y'all, Alyssa here or The Boss Blitz and today we're going to be making room sprays. I'm going to put this recipe down in the description also, but what we're going to need today is a scale for one, something to mix your room spray in, something to stir it with, you're going to need your fragrance, obviously. And this recipe specifically yields five four ounce bottles. So I have five of those here. And then you need distilled water. Then you need your preservative. I'm using this one by Crafter's Choice. And you also need polysorbate. 20. And this one is also by Crafter's Choice. I got both of these from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I also got my bottles here from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So let's get into this. I'm also using an extra cup here because I mix my preservative, polysorbate 20, and fragrance together before I put it in the distilled water. And this also will look kind of milky, which is why I put it in these bottles. You don't have to, but because of the polysorbate 20, it will get that milky look once everything is all mixed together. So first up here, we need 18.4 ounces of distilled water. So let's start with that. I'm gonna set this aside. Now, I need 0.4 ounces of polysorbate 20, one ounce of fragrance, and 0.2 ounces of my preservative. First up is my polysorbate 20. Now my fragrance. And last but not least, my preservative. And now we stir all of these together. Then we pour it into the distilled water and stir that up as well. And now we're going to pour four ounces into each bottle. I overfilled a few of these, but that's perfectly fine. And I also had a couple spills. That's also perfectly fine. The more you do it, the better you will get. And now you can go ahead and put all of your caps on. If you're intending to sell these, you will need to go through and design labels and put labels on these as well. But if you're going to just use these at home, don't worry about that. Now, in case you want to make a larger batch of room sprays, here are the percentages. You have 92% distilled water, 2% of polysorbate 20, 5% fragrance, and 1% of your preservative. And just one last note before I end the video, I found this recipe floating around on Facebook in different candle groups and whatnot. So this is not my original recipe, but I thought I'd share it anyway and help anybody who may not have seen this just yet. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And if you'd like to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe. Happy making y'all.